The windscreen on the Setra Touring bus was defective and has been replaced. Now you have to replace the holder for the lane assist as well. Park the bus on a level surface and check the tire pressure in advance. You also have to completely fill the compressed air system and check the ride level. We have already shown you how to do this on a Kubis. See the corresponding bus dock to find the data for the dimensions for the installation location. To do this, select the bus model, in our case S416 HDH. Then go to Electrical Systems Chassis. Scroll to the Lane Assist chapter and click on Attaching a New Holder. This contains installation instructions. Go to Installation Dimensions and then to Set Points and Installation Tolerances. Select the correct bus variant so that you also have the correct values for the installation. In our case, the unloaded installation height is 1.95 meters. The holder is mounted offset 5 centimeters to the right of the middle of the vehicle. You now need these parts. This is the new holder for the lane assist. Note the expiry date of the adhesive surface. You can order the assembly aid directly from Romes. In addition, you also need a measuring tape and a pencil in order to mark the windscreen. Have a colleague help you. Place the measuring tape exactly at the edge of the windscreen. Find the middle and then go 5 centimeters to the right. On some models, the space in the middle is occupied by the rain and light sensor. Now measure the installation height, in our case 1.95 meters. Marking both values creates a cross. Then mount the holder using the assembly aid. Once the cross is precisely in the middle and the water bubble on the level is centered, press the holder's adhesive surface firmly against the windscreen. Now you can clip in the lane assistance camera. By the way, the camera holder for the successor system, the lane departure Warner, is slightly different in Cetra and Mercedes-Benz buses. Because the rain and light sensor and the LDW lane departure Warner are combined in a single holder, in addition, the windscreen already has a marking, as does the holder itself. Thoroughly adhere this to the window before fitting the windscreen. Then the assembly is complete. But back to fitting it on the S416 HDH. Now we continue with star diagnosis. Select SPA Lane Assist in the Control Unit view. Then go to Adapt Control Units and then to Individual Parameterization. Select Right Parameter. Now you have to change the installation height of the Lane Assist to 1.93 meters. This value represents the vehicle's loaded state. Once you have done that, fold down the windscreen wipers and remove the marking from the windscreen. Now it is time to take a short test run in order to check the system. To access the test mode, press the lane assist switch six times within 60 seconds. In this mode, the lane assist is also active at speeds below 70 km an hour.
the lane assist's warning must trigger before touching the center line. On the right side, the warning triggers when the tire bead moves outside the sideline. If the system functions as described during the test, then the installation is complete.